Glad to be here, folks, and uh, uh, we welcome everybody. Have you got me on? Yeah. And we're glad to be here, and we appreciate all you fine people for tuning us in on Alan Presley Promotions tonight. We're going to have a good time on this Tuesday night. Hey, I got a couple announcements, and I may share this a couple of times in the program. We got going over in the month of May, checking our uh, record out and checking our program out and uh, we looked on there and we seen somebody that had the most requested song 
and and uh, it was played the most on Alan Presley Promotions. And the one that uh, one that got this uh, got that the most requested song, and been played the most was the Lisp of Floss from Northern Ireland. So she they uh, she is uh, her song has been played more than any other song on Alan Presley's promotions with the most requests. So we give her an honor. For the month of May, congratulations, Elizabeth. Your song has been played more times than anyone else's on Alan Presley Promotions. And we like to say congratulations to her. Folks, we're going to have a good time in playing some Southern Gospel music. We got uh, Casey Kemp of Avenue. Won't be our guest by the way of phone tonight from down in Nashville, Tennessee, and they sang with Avenue Trio, he does. This trio is one of the top trios in the world. They have even been write-ups in the singing news. And folks, the singing news is the highest that you can go. There's no other organization out there any higher than the singing news and the singing news chart. They even got a song that's either number 22 or number 23 uh, on the chart. X has got one either 22 or 23. You say, well, why are you saying that? Because I don't know which one's which, but I know it's right there around that area. But we got Exodus. We opened up the program with that great group, Exodus. Exodus was coming here June the 14th, just a little over a week and a half away. Exodus will be live on this program and singing on that Friday night on June the 14th. Folks, don't forget that. And you're listening to Alan Presley Promotions right here from Sweetwater, Tennessee. And we are on the WOTG radio network, and we're on a TV station. We on YouTube, and there's other things that we're on, but we cannot tell you all of them things that we're on. But we're trying our best to reach around this world for Jesus Christ. This is our main goal. We got another ministry started. We'll share a little bit more about it when we give everybody time to get on here, and we're going to share some more about this ministry that we got going now. And so, folks, uh, we operate on donations, whether it be small or whether it be great. We got plenty of room to use it. Believe me, we have. We're working on improving our system, and we are doing some work on it. We appreciate all the donations that you can give, and you can send them to Alan Presley, and it don't make no difference whether it's small or big. Even a dollar bill would help. Everything that we get will help to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Here's our mailing address, Alan Presley, 611 on Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's that address again, Alan Presley, 611 on Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Don't forget, uh, Casey Kemp of Avenue will be our guest by the way of phone tonight. And we're going to get on with some great Southern Gospel music. And we got Dr. Jerry Goff and Jan Goff. Jerry Goff is a good friend of mine, sung for me two times in churches that I have pastored. One time, we shouldn't even had a church. We should have had a Coliseum. We had so many people come. We couldn't even see them. They stand in the parking lot, stood in Sunday school rooms, and they're parked in their cars up and down the road. Good thing the local radio station was carrying. They had men go around and tell them to, to tune in on the radio, and they can hear it. That's how they had to hear it. Folks, uh, we shouldn't have had a church. We should have had a coliseum. Here's Dr. Jerry and Jan Goff.
sunshine and rain, even sorrow and pain. Jesus is my comfort and my guide, and His love comforts me, and His grace has set me free, and someday I shall stand by His side. I am blessed. by and by brothers and sisters on this earth you are mine by my new birth we shall share in that home in the sky i am blessed i am blessed every day that i live i am blessed when i
we have Casey Kemp on the line with Avenue, and we're going to put him on the air right now, okay? Here we go. Hello, is this Brother Casey Kemp? This is him. How are you this evening? Hey, doing just fine. Hey, Brother Casey, we're so tickled to have you on here, and you know you're on a TV station now. You own four worldwide radio stations. You own YouTube. And there's some other things you own, but don't tell me what they are, because I don't even know. <laughs> well, if you, if you start telling me anymore, I might get nervous. Oh, that's great. And, and Brother Casey, we are so excited about Avenue Trio and what they are doing. And we're so excited that we're, and so proud to have your songs, too. Well, we, we really appreciate you all playing our music. We thank you very much for it. And uh, we love your program, and we appreciate what you do. Thank you. And Brother Casey, how did you get started in the singing gospel music? Well, you know what? I was saved when I was seven years old, and I was raised in a church that loved gospel music and the hymns of the church, and we would bring in different groups and all. And so I fell in love with this music at an early age, and especially its message. And uh, when I was about 14, I guess, I started singing with my mom and dad. And uh, we sang at just some area churches and all. And then in high school, I got a few guys together that uh, loved this music as well. And we sang together as a quartet. And of course, one by one, everybody graduates and moves on with their life. But uh, I had an opportunity when I was 23 to go on the road full time with Miss Naomi and the Seagulls. And uh, I haven't stopped ever since. I've been singing with different groups and uh, was called to preach at an early age. So I studied uh, there for about four years and uh, received my uh, ordination papers and all through our association and so i've just been singing and preaching ever since and uh, that's how it all got started for me what what age did you start preaching about 21 well i got a little bit 90 i started when i was 15 pastor my first church at 18 my goodness yeah i've been doing this stuff about all my life and well, that's wonderful and Brother Casey, uh, what's the most exciting thing that you see when you're singing or up preaching? You know what? I love to see people get excited about the Lord, uh, whether that's coming to Him through salvation or whether that's a believer being blessed or uh, people being encouraged. It's, it's just watching what the Lord is doing in people's lives. That's what it is for me. Well, that's great. Uh, hey, now tell us about Avenue. Tell us to who sings with Avenue. I know you do, but who's the other two guys? Sure. Well, singing tenor is uh, a young man named Corey Lackey. Corey is originally from Detroit, Michigan, but makes his home in Nashville with us. And then uh, the other fellow that sings lead with us, his name is Jacob Legess, and Jacob is 22 years old. Uh, he just turned 22 in March, and uh, he recently just graduated from uh, Bible College, uh, the Trevecca Nazarene College there in uh, Nashville where we live. And so it's Corey, myself, and Jacob, and we make up Avenue. Well, that's great. As the, the guy that lived from Detroit, did he move down to Nashville? He sure did. He sure did. Matter of fact, he's sitting right here, and I know he'd love to say hi to you. Hey, put him on. Hey, how are you doing, sir? Hey, doing just fine. What part you sing with Avenue? Oh, I'm the tenor singer. I get to sing like a woman. Hey, you got that tenor voice in. <laughs> I do my best. <laughs> Boy, you know, that's great. The Lord, the Lord blesses. <laughs> Boy, that's great. Well, what does the other guy sure. sing? What does he sing? Jacob, uh, Jacob sings lead. He sings lead. And what does yes, Casey sir. sing? Casey singing the baritone part. Oh, okay. And yeah. That, and they, that makes up Avenue, right? That that makes up Avenue. We're just a trio. Uh, we Everybody always ask, asks when we're going to hire a bass singer and we, we always tell them when we can find one that likes to work for food. <laughs> well, hey, hey, hey. Uh, how did you guys, hey, now, how did you guys come up with a name, Avenue? You know, it's actually a funny story. We, uh, when we started this, we were trying to figure out a name, and we, uh, we came up with a few that we had liked, but we were talking to our good buddy Gary Castro, 
um, of Tribute Quartet. And Gary uh, really mentored us and helped us get going in the beginning, uh, really invested in us and spent a whole lot of time uh, working with us vocally and giving us some business advice and all sorts of stuff. And Gary uh, suggested the name Avenue. He said, guys, you know, um, uh, music is a great avenue to the gospel, and the gospel is the avenue to Jesus. So we thought that was pretty good, and we just went with it. <laughs> hey, hey, don't you guys have a song that's about number 22 or 23 on the singing news chart? We sure did. Uh, that was a song called One of These Mornings. Uh, that was our very first radio single, and we were so blessed that the radio just picked it up and uh, they were they were playing it really good, and the fans seemed to seemed to really enjoy it. Uh, Enlightened picked it up, XM Sirius XM picked it up, and Singing News Radio picked it up. So uh, yeah, it was it was really incredible. Is it still on that same twenty two or twenty three? I forgot which one it was. Um, I can't remember which month it was that it was up there, but uh, yeah, it it was up there. Uh, it was up in the top 20, top thirty for a couple months, and then. Uh, We've got a new single out right now called Reach the World, uh, written by our buddy Mark Bishop. The Bishops recorded it about 20 years ago, um, but that's our current single out right now, and uh, that's, that's getting played pretty well as well. Boy, that's great. Hey, uh, yeah. hey they, there was a story that come out with, about you all in the gospel singing news, wasn't there? There, there was. Um Actually, SG and Scoops uh, just released a story here. Uh, well, you know, first of all, Singing News was very kind after we got started. Uh, they did a half-page article on our group getting started, and so we were very, very grateful for that. And then uh, the SG and Scoops just put out an article uh, last week, actually, about our current single, Reach the World. And here's what's really, really cool about this. The lady that wrote the article, um, she's actually from the Netherlands, and so she's from an, another part of, of the the world and so this song being about reaching the world she wanted to write it from the perspective of somebody that's not in the USA and uh, we've met her a couple of times she's a dear friend of ours and the fact that she would want to talk about this song and the impact that it's having uh, not just here in the United States but in the Netherlands where she lives as well um, that was just a real joy for us to, to, to have her to do that that was a blessing for us so it's called reach the world and as Corey mentioned, it was written by Mark Bishop, and uh, actually the bishop sang it 20 years ago, and uh, nobody's done it since then. And so Mark was like, you know, um, I think it's about high time that, that somebody do that song again. And so we did it, and uh, it's been getting a great response. And we appreciate folks like you who are playing it on radio. Well, I don't have that song, I don't think, do we, Linda? Reach the world? Yeah, we got it. Yeah, yeah. reach the yeah, world. Yeah, okay, yeah. we got it. Hey, you okay, got man. you you guys. What good songs you all got? Like all of them's good. Send me all I all you give me. I take them and I play them. Sure, absolutely. And, and uh, I want to ask you. I asked Casey a while ago. How did you get started singing gospel music? Well, um, I actually got started uh, being from Michigan. I worked with the uh, promotion company up there, Encore Productions. Uh, Mr. Victor Seaton. Um, Victor allowed me to come and help uh, when you would bring in some of the concerts, and it allowed me to uh, make some friendships with some people like the Booth Brothers and uh, Greater Vision and Legacy Five. And uh, one year, they brought in a, we brought in a group called Declaration uh, that was touring with the Booths at the time, and I just befriended the guys. That was Casey and uh, his group, and. Uh, you know, I just we struck up a friendship, and uh, a little time went by, and I, I started traveling with them as their uh, full-time sound man. Um, I was with the group. Uh, we were with that group for about three years running sound, and then we started this group, and uh, they asked me if I wanted to sing, and I was like, I guess. <laughs> hey, if you guys get over here, we'll put you on this program the whole two hours. Listen, we would love it. Hey, we, we would. Love you, it. You'd be. Hey, we got a group called Exodus going to be here June the fourteenth, live and singing. And oh yeah, yeah, you guys, you guys, come on, you talk Casey and to bring you over here. Want her to take a day yeah, off? Well, hey, 
Hey, I'm putting Casey back on right now. You make sure you tell him. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah well, well, we'd love to come over. We'll we'll have to find a time that we can do that. I just have to find a time I can pull these boys away from their girlfriends long enough. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, hey, yeah. uh, how many CDs you guys got out? Right now, we've just got the one, and then I've got my trumpet CD. And uh, it was actually Jacob, our lead singer, it was his first major recording. And uh, you were asking me about him a moment ago, uh, the guy that was from Chicago. He's sitting right here. I'm going to let him say hello to you. All three, all three of you there? Yeah, that's right. How are you doing today, sir? Hey, doing all right. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Boy, that's great. Tell, tell us about yourself and how you got started in the gospel music. <laughs> yeah, so I, I grew up in a little town called Bourbonnet, Illinois. It's about 45 miles south of Chicago, and so grew up um, actually playing baseball quite a bit and then started singing um, at a young age and growing up going to the Southern Gospel concerts in town. Um, and when I got to college at Trebek and Nazarene University in Nashville, Tennessee, I started singing in a... Um, a public relations group for them, a Southern Gospel group, and so that's kind of how, I, that was the first group I got to sing with, and uh, I met Casey and Corey um, when they started Avenue and asked if I'd come out and, you know, just try and sing with them and see how it went, and that's kind of how it all started. Well, that's great, and what, yeah. uh, I, was asking, I was asking the other guy a while ago, how does people order your CD that you got? Reach out to us on our uh, website. You can order it through the website or um, reach out to us through Facebook, and we can help you with that, too, or email or call our office. And all that's at avenuetrio.com, and you can find anything and everything Avenue at avenuetrio.com. Hey, and they, they, they can notify me if they want them, and I know how to find that's you right. guys. Yeah, uh, avenuetrio.com, and you got Casey's number now, um, and we're friends now. We're family now. That's right. Yeah. Well, how much are them CDs a piece? Tell us. Yeah, so CDs are fifteen dollars. In case you can see, CDs are fifteen, or if you'd like both of them, we can do two for twenty. Well, that's a pretty good deal, man. Can't beat yeah. that. And I, I tell you what else is a pretty good deal too. We've got a buddy that's uh, with us. We're out in Kentucky right now at the Creation Museum, and uh, we've been here. We we sang there today, and uh, we'll be there tomorrow and Thursday. And we've got a buddy from Ohio that's here who's an excellent piano player, and he just put out a piano CD. And I just bet he'd like to say hi to you as well. His name is Zach. Put him on. Well, hi. How are you doing today? Hey, how are you doing? How long have you been playing piano? I've been playing the piano for over 15 years. I started when I was four years old. Wow, that's great. Man, I wish you had a piano there. Uh, what did you say? I'm sorry? What What did you say? You said you wish I had a piano there? Yeah. Yeah, I wish I did too. I, uh, I love playing piano. I've, like I said, I've done it for pretty much all my life. I enjoy it. Hey, so the whole crew of you is right there, right? We are. I'm sneaky. Do you know that? What, 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 what's that about? I'm sneaky. You're sneaky? Yeah, I think you guys ought to sing one right there on the phone, a cappella. Oh, man. Oh, well, I think we could probably, think we could probably pull something out of our pants. Yeah, yeah. let's see. I think we can do that. Okay. Yeah, why don't you sing it? All right. Well, want to do a little bit of a morning, one of these mornings? Sure. Pick a key. Mm. I'm going one of these mornings to land with never a night. Oh, yes, I'm going one of these mornings where all the spots are swine. One of these mornings I'll be flying high. One of these mornings I'm going to say goodbye. How about it? Man, that was great. Man, I got to give you a big old hand. Yeah, man, that that that's plum exciting, man. Yeah, well, thank you. Thanks for asking us to do it. Yeah, hey, uh, you you know we we just talked about CDs. How do these people contact you if they want you guys to come and sing for them? Well, all that information can be found.
found there on our website. And uh, again, that's Avenue Trio dot com and there's a link on there that says contact and they can find all of our phone numbers there the dominion agency does our booking and they can either talk to michael davis or to miss Lori weiss and the phone numbers are right there on the website and they're listed on our facebook page too so they can find the information there and we would love to come out uh, and be with you just give them a call and and uh, we'll find an available date and we'll be we'll be out to sing for you Hey, hey, and you guys, you guys, uh, come over here, all of you, and we put you on here for two hours, but you got to come a little early before we can have a blast. That's hey, right. I that like that. Party. We'd like that. I would, too. And all these people <laughs> out there would, too. And matter of fact, uh, when we get everything up, we'll send you a copy of everything. We, 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 you going to YouTube tonight, too. You'll be on YouTube. Hey. All right, cool. What That's lady, great. Presley? I, I just accepted Jacob as your friend. Jacob? Oh. Yeah, Jacob's your Say friend that. now. Okay. I just, asked him to be, I just became friends with you. Well, that's yep. great. Man, that's great. He's got, it. Man. He's got it right here. We're looking at it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got you guys got to figure out a way how y'all get over here, man. We, we, we'll have a ball to have. We sure will have a ball. Yeah, it's, hey, now, I'm not I'm not good at this. I'm no pro DJ, but if anything you guys want to say and let these people know about it, tell them. Well, we appreciate that very much. We just uh, want to ask everybody to pray for us as we're at the uh, Creation Museum here yeah. the next couple more days, and then uh, we're headed from there to Lafayette, Indiana, and then Robinson, Illinois, and just pray that we all stay healthy and don't get sick. And um, that we just continue to yep. sing strong and, and share the gospel. Hey, hey, you guys got a way you can make me a small video or some type of video and send it to me where I can share it around the country? Absolutely. Yeah. We can make you a really good video. And uh, we'll put something together and send it over to you. And uh, uh, we'll just uh, give us a little information about the group. And, hey, we might even sing you a little song on there if that'd be okay. Hey, that'd be, that'd be okay. You might, can sing right. a, you might can sing a couple songs on there if you want to. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll we'll find you something. We'll find a song that's really big. Okay. And, uh, something that'll be, you know, uh, good for video there. And, and um, it'll be a lot of fun. All right. Hey, we, we want you guys to have prayer with us, too. You know, we got at Jimmy Putman, we, you might have heard us talk about he needs a kidney. We worked hard yeah. for three months, three, four months. Well, we did locate him a kidney, and he's wow. going to have kidney transplant about the 25th of June, and that's a prayer praise. That is wonderful. I know the last time I talked with you, uh, we were still praying about finding one. So this is a, a great answer to prayer. That's wonderful. Yeah, we we found one, and he's a singer too. He he loves the Lord. He's got a good testimony, and he's a great singer too. And we need we need these kind of guys out here in their field. Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And well. And we need to pray for him. There's a lot of people need to pray, but more than anything, we need to pray for them people out there that give us save and give our life to God. And That's we, true. We want one of you to lead in prayer. And uh, wait a minute, before we lead in prayer, I got a question. Is there any, sure. any songs you want me to play tonight? I know I got one up there already. And that one, okay. that one song is, what's the name of that, Linda? One of these mornings. One of these mornings. And the next yep. one is Reach the World. Yep. And give us, yep. give, us, give us a couple more you'd like for us to play. Um, I tell you what, I know we sent you I'm on the battlefield. How about how about that one? Oh, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get that and give us another. All right, let's see here. I'm trying to think what all, what all we sent to you. Um... How about, uh, how about some sweet day? Okay. Okay, we got it. All right. But we want you guys to lead us in prayer. Would you do that? Absolutely, we will. Corey would love to. Okay. When you get ready, go. All right. 
Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for this day you've given us, Father. We thank you for this incredible ministry and uh, this radio program, Brother Allen, Lord. And we just thank you for the work he's doing there in that area, Lord. And we just thank you for the opportunity to go out and spread your word, Father. We thank you for the opportunity to minister at the Creation Museum to all the folks there, Lord. And we thank you for the incredible blessings that you've bestowed upon our lives, Lord. We just ask you to continue to be with us. Keep your angels camped around our vehicles and around our homes with our families as we travel. Be with them and uh, be with Casey's wife as she is sick. And uh, Lord, we just ask you things in your name. Amen. Amen. And is Casey's wife sick? She has been, but she's getting over it. Uh, the kids were sick, and uh, uh, they're feeling much better. We've got a two-year-old little girl and a four-month-old little boy, and our little girl had uh, strep throat, and so it kind of, uh, the, the coughing and all that stuff made its way around, and so we're finally getting everybody well and, and thankful for that. <laughs> yeah, and if you had to, bring them over here when y'all come. Yeah, I would love that. I would love I would it love too, cause I oh, like I like it. I like little kids. You may not, you might get mad at me time you leave, cause I try to spoil them. Oh my goodness! Well, these boys of mine here have done a pretty good job of spoiling them so far. So one more won't hurt. <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, we appreciate you guys, and we're going to get off here. And call me anytime you want to. Okay. Okay, well, we appreciate that. Thank you much. And, hey, listen, thanks for having us on tonight. Thank you. Hey, it's not going to be the last time either. All right. Hey, Zach, say bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much for talking with us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Take it easy, brother. Okay. Yeah, brother Allen. Thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you. God bless right. you. God bless God you bless. guys. Good night. Goodbye. You have been listening to Avenue Trio right here on Alan Presley Promotion. Man, what a great time. How, you know, man, this is great. It's great to have Avenue on. And Lady Presley, we're going to play some of their songs, right? Right. Okay, are you ready, lady? Yes. Here we go with that great trio, Avenue. And this is one high on the singing news chart. Mornings to a land with never a night. Oh, yes, I'm going one of these mornings where the robber spotless white. One of these mornings I'll be flying high. One of these mornings I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm going one of these mornings to a land with never a night. Oh, yes, I'm going one of these mornings where the robber spotless white. One of these mornings I'll be flying high. Say goodbye. Sometimes when I see the sun arising, I am so surprised that I'm still here. I just can't wait to wake up in heaven. And I know that day, that day is very near. Cause I'm going one of these mornings to a land with never a night. Oh, yes, I'm going. One of these mornings I'll be flying high One of these mornings I'm gonna say goodbye Sitting front row at the feet of Jesus I know I wear a smile that never fades And as I sing along with saints and angels My time down here on earth will seem so far Mornings to a land with never a night. Oh, yes, I'm going one of these mornings where the robe of spotless white. One of these mornings I'll be flying high. One of these mornings I'm gonna say goodbye. I'm going one of these mornings to a land with never a night. Oh, yes, I'm going one of these mornings where the robe of spotless white. One of these mornings I'll be flying high.
just one voice that takes a stand that makes a choice to live for God and not hesitate to tell the world about amazing grace one day that seed somehow breaks through where there was one there now stands two and soon another day his hand, a ray of hope that spreads across the land, across the mountains, across the sea. Soon others join in harmony. They found the cross still standing strong. that sets the world aflame but help me reach the lost and alone to tell of joy and hope where hope is gone go reach the world touch one more soul Boy, it was great having the Avenue Trio. They probably one of the best trios in their country right now. And they are been nominated for that. And man, what great singing they do. And we appreciate having them on board. And we got a couple more songs. We're gonna play of Avenue uh Trio. And man, I tell you what, boy, them boys can sing. And just stay tuned to Alan Presley Promotions right here for some of the greatest gospel music out there. And it's great to have Avenue as a call-in guest. And we got, I forgot who we have in tomorrow night, but uh, anyway, it's, uh, it'll be uh, Lady Presley who uh, tell us here in a minute who we're going to have tomorrow night. We don't have nobody tomorrow night. Oh, tomorrow night's Wednesday night. Who's Thursday night? Uh, Donna Journey. Donna Journey of the Journeys is our guest on Thursday night. June the 14th on Friday night, Exodus will be on this program live singing. You do not want to miss that. And here we go with Avenue Trio right now. Take a listen. Preparation for 
for a happy celebration. The day of promise, Jesus soon will come. We'll sing around the throne of glory some sweet day. Happy day, we'll join in heaven's story some sweet day. Happy days will be an everlasting song, and all the saints will sing along. Hallelujah's on and done. Some sweet day, happy day. Dear friend, you must get ready for that final journey. Oh, won't you plan to come and go along? We will stand together in the sweet forever. Some happy day we'll sing a happy song. We'll sing around the throne of glory some sweet day. Happy day we'll join in heaven's story some sweet day. Happy days will be an everlasting song. And all the saints will sing along. Hallelujah. On and done. Some sweet day, happy day. We'll sing, we'll sing around the throne of glory. Some sweet day, happy day. We'll join, we'll join in heaven's story. Some sweet day, happy day. We'll be an everlasting song, and all the saints will sing along. Hallelujah's on and done. Some sweet day, happy day. We'll sing, we'll sing around the throne of glory. Some sweet day. We'll join in heaven's story some sweet day. Happy day it will be an everlasting song, and all the saints will sing along. Hallelujah's on and on. Some sweet day, happy day, some glad day I'll fly away. Some sweet day, happy day, some sweet day.
was singing of that. Man, that was great. Avenue Trio from down in Nashville, Tennessee. We look forward to the day that they'll be here live on Alan Presley Promotions. And what a great job them young guys are doing. And it's, it's an honor <coughs> to have their music and have them on the program here, here tonight. Hey, folks, it's an honor to know that Alan Presley Promotions can get a hold of God. And it, it's a great honor. And, and uh, you know, we, we saw one of the greatest miracles that we've seen in a long time take place on this program. We worked night and day getting out posters and ads looking for Jimmy Putman of Candy. And we worked hard. You know, it's hard to get somebody qualified for a perfect match for a kidney transplant. Took a lot of searching, a lot of efforts. A lot of people came forward. So many came forward willing to donate a kidney that it is unreal. But yet, God still sent one. This God answered a prayer, and God moved. And on, on June the 25th, Jimmy Putman is scheduled to have that transplant. And what a great prayer that took place. Man, that was a miracle within itself. You know why it's like that? Because our people on our program prayed, and we prayed, and we searched, and we searched, and we searched, and we searched. See, God, God expects us to put some legs on our prayers ourselves sometimes. God will do the impossible, the things that we can't do. But God expects us to put some efforts forward. He expects us to do our part. Then what we can't do, God will step in there and do it. But we must try ourselves. We just can't use God as an old spire tar and say, God, bless me. God, take care of me. And you do nothing. We're supposed to do what we know to do. We're supposed to work. We're supposed to labor. And I'm going to play Jimmy Putman's song, Homesick for Heaven. Then I'm going to share a special need for you to think about right after this song. Here we go. Haven't 
you've seen all of this old world that you want to see. Can you honestly think of any other place you'd rather be? Anybody here homesick for heaven besides me? Can you honestly think of any Besides me, and tell me anybody here, anybody here, anybody here. I'm sick for heaven. Besides me. And folks, we're glad to be here tonight on Alan Presley Promotions plans. Some of this great Southern gospel music, and we've done already had a great night, but it's not over with yet. You know, we've been talking about on Alan Presley Promotions of starting another ministry, and we done got the ministry started. We're going to be helping some kids and children that's misfortune that has lost their mom and dads. Some of them have been put in orphanages' homes. And we didn't. We done even. We didn't, done already got one in mind that we're going to start helping some. We're going to help take care of some of these kids. Many of these kids does not even have a home. Some of them's even in jail, been arrested for drugs and everything. Some of them even been on the streets and been on the streets, and they did barefooted and no tennis shoes, no clothes. Many of them has had to go around, kids, just kids. Many of them had to go around and, and take garbage cans out of garbage and get what food they can out of a, a tin can that people didn't rake out the can too good. Sad world, isn't it? And we as Christians, we sit back and enjoy the life of Raleigh. I know of people that attend a football game and spend fifty to a hundred dollars to get a ticket to get in. Now come on, Alan. I'm gonna say something else. Many of us have spent thirty and forty and a hundred dollars to go hear a gospel singing and let kids starve to death. That sound like Christians with a heart of love? We're going to do something tonight. Now, I don't know if you feel the same way. It don't make no difference how you feel. Right's right. And we as Christians need to do something about these children. And Alan Presley Promotion has took it up on ourselves to do this. And the people that uh, stands and works behind the scenes is scenes is with me on this. Me and Lady Presley don't have a lot of money, but we're going to donate the first $10 to go towards these children. And I wonder how many of you out there listen closely. I wonder how many of you out there have really got a heart of love to help these children would make some type of donation of whatever you want to make to help these children. I'm going to do it this way. If you want a message on Master and tell Lady Presley, or if you want to pick the phone up and call and tell me you'll make a pledge to help these children, We'll take the call, phone call, too. If you want us to put you on the air, we'll put you on the air. You can let Lady Presley know if you'd like to go on the air. But give her some kind of idea how much you would like to pledge to help these children. Do we love these children? Out on a letter that Bloody Presley does, I told the Avenue to bring their children. 
I got one of my granddaughters sitting in here right now and back here in another room. We love our kids, but they got a mom and dad too. Some of these kids don't have a mom and dad. Now I'm asking you, search your heart over. Can you spare a few dollars to help these kids? To go toward them kids. If you do, I'm asking you to pick up the phone now. 423-271-6247. And tell Lady Presley how much you would pledge and give her her give her your name. And let's do something to help these kids. Would you help us and our administration group and our board members? Help us support these children. Now I'm leaving it up to you. And we got as we have somebody else to come around and sing, give us a call. Let us know how much you can give to help these children by calling 423-271-6247. Well, me and Lady Presley has checked our song list for the month of May. And uh, we checked it out. We don't usually do this, but we checked it out for the month of May. Who had the most requested songs and whose songs got played the most on Alan Presley Promotions. And that person that got picked, we, we made it public known that her song had been played more and more requests than anybody that we've had. And I'm going to tell you who it is. It's Elizabeth Lawson on her song, I Love You, Lord. So we're going to listen to her sing that song right now.
line and let's see who we got. You on Alan Presley Promotions? Who we got there? Marlene Love from Mount Pleasant, North Carolina. Uh, Lorene who? Marlene. Marlene? Marlene. Okay. Um, I was calling in to tell you that I'm sending $200, one for you and Linda for the promotion, and 100 for the children. We'd like to say thank you, and God bless you, and praise God. I, I, we want to help our children, and we yes, appreciate you. Yes, I do. You. I've been on three mission trips. I know how the children are hurting, and how they eat out of trash cans and stuff. I've been to Ecuador twice and to Brazil one time, and I, my health has got so bad I can't go no more, but I wish I could go, but the Lord knows. We thank you, ma'am, and we are going to try to get a representative to come in on the program and talk about this situation, too. Our hearts breaks for the young people because if the Lord tarries his coming, that they are going to be our next generation, and it's time that we as Christians step up and care. And I'd Amen. like to say, ma'am, God bless you. Did you get her name, Linda? Yeah. We got your name. Yeah, I got your address. I got your address. Okay, ma'am, okay. we appreciate you listening okay. to Alan Presley Promotions. Okay, thank you. God bless Have you. Have a good night. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. Praise God, praise God for what he's doing. That lady just called in, said she's going to donate $200. Boy, isn't that great. Praise God for that. Here's her phone number, folks. We try to do something to help these children out. And we're going to do something. God's done already at work. And here's her phone number again, 423-271-6247. Boy, wouldn't it be great if we can raise a pretty good sum, lump of sum of money to help these kids, to help them? Wouldn't that be great? We can do it, folks. Call us tonight at 423-271-6247. If you want to send Linda Presley a message, or Alan Presley a message on the chat box on Facebook, you can. But there's other people listening through other resources. Give us a call tonight as we go back to some great Southern gospel music. Here's Brother Elton Wright right now. Take a listen. I can 
And we working for the kids tonight, and we working for the children. Who will pick the phone up next and give us a call and make a pledge on Alan Presley's promotions to help feed these children and help take care of them and help somebody to raise these children. You know, not only in the uh, orphanage homes they put them, there's some people out there that adopts them even and takes care of them. And folks, it's sad when we live high on the hog, when we can afford to go football games. Come on, Alan, say it again. When we can afford to take big cruiser trips and let children in our country starve to death with no food. We live in a sad world and a sick world. And the only thing can change that is God and the love of God. I wonder who would be next to step out and say, I want to help them children. Give us a call or send a message through 423-271-6247. Folks, let's help these children. Let's really help them. Lady Presley, who we got coming up to sing next? Uh, let's see. You played this one, right? Uh, Fields of Grace. The Fields of Grace. Fields of Grace. What a young group they are, and they do a good job. They even go to the same church the Primitive Quartet goes to. Here we go. I once was lost in sin, but Jesus took me in. And then a little light from heaven filled my soul. It bathed my heart in love and I wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have, have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. by. When you feel a little prayer will turn in. Then you know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Sometimes my path seems drear without a ray of cheer. And then a cloud of doubt may hide the light of day. The mists of sin may rise and hide the starry skies. But just a little talk with Jesus clears the way. I may have doubts and fears, my eyes be filled with tears. But Jesus is a friend who watches day and night. I go to him in prayer, he knows my every care, and just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have, have a little talk with Jesus, let us tell him all about our troubles, he will hear our faintest cry, and he will answer by and by. When you feel a little prayer will turn in, then you know a little fire is burning, you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Then you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. And folks, wouldn't it be great if we can raise four or five hundred dollars to help these kids? It'd even be greater if we can raise more to help these kids. Who will be the next one to give us a call or send us a message? And let's see if we can raise some money to help these children folks do you want to help them do you want to help them do you really want to help them well let's help them i right here tonight give us a call at 423-271-6247 here we go with lorraine hired singing this great song
right here on Alan Presley Promotions tonight with some of the great singing tonight and uh, we have had the power of God in here tonight and folks I want to ask you something we're asking you do you want to give to help these children do you want to give to help feed these children do you want to give to help buy them shoes and clothes and help take care of them do you want to give? Do you want to help support them? Do you want to know to make? Do you want to make Jesus happy? Jesus called the little children unto Him. He said, "Forbid not the little children to come unto Him." Folks, it is our duty. It is our God-given duty to try to help these kids and these children. Would you like to be part of? this and helping the children helping feed them help clothe them and helping somebody else to raise these children that are misfortune that don't have a mom and dad to take care of them or do we are we really love God do we really love our children do we really care Lady Presley, I want you to tell them what your mother used to do. We had a, a children's home up in Greenville, Tennessee, and every summer and at Christmas time, we got two of the children from the children's home. Uh, I can't remember the little boy's name, but the, uh, the little girl's name was Ethel. And they would come in down at the house uh, for a week in the summertime, and then they'd come at Christmas time too. And Mama would always get them something for Christmas. And they and we grew up with them two kids. I mean, they were younger than us, but I can't recall how many years that Mama would go pick them up and bring them to the house and let them stay. Of course. You know, they had to get the permission from the superintendent. Uh, they don't just let them go with anybody. But see, Mom, and we were raised in a Free Will Baptist church, and this was a free, our Free Will Baptist children's home in Greenville, Tennessee. And we, we got Ethel and her brother every summer and every Christmas. And folks... Do we have that love for children, or have we come, have we become a nation that just don't give a rip? And I'm asking you the question, do you want to help feed these children, help clothe them, and help take care of them? Then you can pick the phone up and call me and Lady Presley and let us know at 423 271 Six two four seven, or if you're on Facebook, you can send Linda a message. But we got so many out there that's not on Facebook, 
We on TV. We on the radio. On four worldwide stations. And you know, it shouldn't be no problem to even get up four or five hundred dollars or maybe even more. The question is, how much do we love God? I'm going to make it very blunt. If you can't love the children, you don't have the love of God in your life or your heart. Now, I know that's blunt. I know it's plain. If you don't love the children, you don't have the love of God either. And folks, let me make this statement. If you might say, I'd die for God. If you can't live for God, you won't die for him either. Now remember that if you live, if you can't live for God and do what God wants you to do, you'll never die for him either. And that, that is very simple and very plain. Let's get on. With the singing tonight, while we wait on your call to make a pledge and take care of these children and help them out. Lady Presley, this is Michael Combs, right? Come on, Michael.
I can't see how anybody has got the gall to refuse Jesus now. After that man, they came and arrested him. The Roman soldiers came and arrested him, drug him up that hill called Golgotha's Hill to Calvary's Hill. And while they drug him up that hill, they took a big lock of whip with about nine or ten claws on it, and they beat him with it and pulled his flesh apart, and out came blood and water. Even had to drag the cross up to Calvary's hill. And then they got him up there and they made fun of him and they laughed at him and spit in his face and said, I told him, if he be God, come down off that cross. But he didn't. Because he prayed in the Garden of Gethsemane, Father, let this cup pass from me, but nevertheless, let thy will be done. But he could have called those 10,000 angels back to set him free. But he knew it was the only way for you and I that we might live. As Michael Combs sung, how can you refuse him now? Then they put him on the cross. And they drove the nails in his feet and in his hands. Then they took a crown of thorns on his head and with some sharp objects down and just put it down on his head and tore the flesh apart and blood came dripping down at his off his face on the ground. And not only did they do that, they took a spear and drove it into his precious side and out came blood and out came water. And he was dying and bleeding there on the cross for your sins and for my sins. And he looked up with tears coming out of his, streaming down out of his face and he was crying. And he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. You know what he's saying? He said, Father, forgive Alan Presley. He don't know what he's done. Forgive Linda Presley for that she don't know what she's done. Forgive some of you out there for you don't know what you've done. And we still don't know what we've done. And you say, I wouldn't do the Lord that way. If you're not a Christian, you did the Lord that way. You were guilty of crucifying him. You were as guilty as the man that drove the spikes in his hand. You were guilty as a man that put the crown of thorns on his head. You were as guilty as spitting in his face. Yes, you. You were. I were. But the only difference between me and some of you, I went to the feet of Jesus and asked him to forgive me of my sins and asked him to come into my heart. And you were just as guilty as a man that took the bull whip and sliced him with it and cursed him and arrested him and drug him up Calvary's hill. You were that guilty. Some of you out there probably needs to repent and ask God to come into your heart. You say, I don't like preaching like that, Alan. You better like it because if you don't, you'll stand before God one day and hear him say, depart from me, for I never knew you. You're not going to come up with some lousy excuse and say, look what I've done, look what I've done. I've done this, I've done that. It's not going to be. God knows what you do. Folks, some of you probably need Jesus tonight. This program is emphasized on one thing. That's winning souls to Jesus and honoring God. I'm asking you one more time. Would you consider helping these children out 
by messaging us or giving us a call right now at 423-271-6247. While we're going to hear Old Friends Quartet sang this great song. What's like a bird in prison I dwell No freedom from my sorrow I fell But Jesus came and listened to me And glory to God He set me free He set me free Yes He set me free and He broke the bonds of prison for me Promotion right here on the WOTG radio network. We on four worldwide radio stations. We on a TV station, and we won't be. We'll be on YouTube, and we on a lot of other things that I can't remember all of them. But anyway, we're having a great time playing Southern gospel music tonight. And if you like being part of a program like this, and want to help us out, you can send your donations to Alan Presley, six one one. Oh, Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. Here's that address again, Alan Presley, 611, Oh, Highway 68, Sweetwater, Tennessee, 37874. We hear seven nights a week playing Southern Gospel Music. We have some groups coming in live. Exodus will be here June the 14th, on Friday night. You don't want to forget that. And we appreciate everybody that always tunes in and listens to our program. Lady Preston, you got anything to say? Uh, no. <laughs> she ain't not got much to say tonight. Don't forget, her birthday coming up June the 22nd. Okay, Alan. <laughs> okay, she's going to she give me a lecture when we get off here. And here we go with Pamela Jones. Hey, Pamela, you listen to that? Hey, hello. Hey, Stanley, I heard you got that Bible today. Glad you got it. I hope you enjoy it. Here's Pamela Jones. Children, mommy, 
child How the songs we used to sing Were fashioned in camp meeting style Songs that kept the fire a burning And wouldn't let it die Songs that spoke of living On the hallelujah side Now the ones we used to love To hear sing songs like that are gone But my eyes are closed My mind goes back My memory lingers on They spent so many hours Go back home. 
it's much too long. It's time to go back home. You've been wandering in the wilderness much too long. It's time to go back home. You've been wandering in the wilderness much too long. It's time to go back home. Thank you very much. And we got a few minutes left here, and we might even end with another song, but we're going to say good night, folks, and God bless you. Look forward to being back tomorrow night, same time, same station, same place. We have to get off 10 o'clock sharp. Hey, Linda. Hey, good night, everyone. We, we're going to do one more of Trevor Thomas. Uh, it's not a song. It's uh, He Wants a Volunteer. So, yeah, you ready? So everybody needs to be a volunteer. This morning, the preacher announced during the worship service they need workers in children's church, and he is headed my way. <laughs> Time to hide. <laughs> oh, great. He still sees me. I knew I should have grabbed one of the Sunday school handouts. They're bigger. I know what I'll do. I'll hide behind these plants over here. <laughs> No, wait a minute. I can't hide there. This morning he preached on stewardship to half the congregations behind those plants. <laughs> oh, well, I'm just going to have to stand up to him. I'm going to have to face him. I'm going to have to let the preacher know someone else will have to take children's church. After all, I'm always the one they ask around here whenever there's a need. Shortest Sunday school teacher? Ask Mark Miller. Need a youth camp counselor? Ask Mark Miller. A salad for 20? Ask Mark Miller. Well, this time Mark Miller is going to pass. This time Mark Miller is going to say no. This time Mark Miller is going to stand up to the preacher and let him know someone else will have to take children's church because I am not going to do it. <laughs> 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 I wonder why he just walked over to David Rogers. <laughs> Certainly he couldn't be asking David Rogers to take children's church, not with me standing right here. <laughs> I do everything at this church. Shortest Sunday school teacher, I always fill in. Youth camp, I go every year. And I always bring a salad when we have a dinner. So why is he over there asking David Rogers to take children's church? <laughs> you who, pastor. <laughs> Excuse us, David, there's something very important I must discuss with the pastor. It'll just take a minute. <clears throat> pastor, I just wanted to let you know I've been giving that children's church position a lot of thought. <laughs> and I wanted to let you know that uh, I've prayed about it, and yes, I'd like, like to give it a try. You, you say you were hoping I would volunteer? But what about David? Weren't you just asking him? Oh, I see. You were telling him how much you would appreciate it if he would quit saying amen every time you say, and now in closing, <laughs> can I start next Sunday? <laughs> next Sunday, I, uh, 32 children, <laughs> uh, all under the age of eight. <laughs> <laughs> and the church does supply the earplugs? <laughs> okay, pastor, you can count on me. Oh, well, you know, 